Good morning, it's V. Let's vibe. In Jamaica, when you hear somebody say hundred dollar bag, it's hardly ever food. So that's 100 Jamaican dollars or less than a dollar US. It's hardly ever food, but as the title suggests, come with me and let's see what's popping. The place that we're featuring this morning, I think it's called Miss Cherry Shop or something like that. It's one of them Jamaican, regular Jamaican cook shops. It was recommended to me one morning when I was running late and I wanted something to eat. When me here say them sell hundred dollar bag out. So me say hundred dollar bag of what? Food? And they were right. So if you want to check it out, it's right in Stony Hill, right before you get to the gas station at the top of Stony Hill. Look here. If you want to check it out, ask anybody where they have the hundred dollar bag for breakfast. They do sell other food, you know, like cooked food and stuff. But that's what I'm featuring today, the hundred dollar bag. So stay tuned. All right. So, you know, the typical Jamaican thing is we are creative and we have to find a way to make people get what they want um as well as make some money so if you've ever been i know when i was younger we used to have this man in the community um why am i still again himself chop up they call it chop up so you have chop up where you sell it similar it's it was in a bag too um you can't remember that price because that was a long time ago but at least you were able to get something to eat that would keep you for a little while and you just work on it so yeah, this is it. It's in this bag. Um, the meat is in a different bag, so it doesn't mess up the dumplings. Let me see if we can show you the dumplings. So here, it's round, as you can see, is regular Jamaican dumpling. I am not one to eat the inside so much, so let's see what happens with this, because I don't like the I don't like the meaty part of the dumplings so if i make dumplings personally them flat and then they kind of you know the baking powder kind of swell them but for today we're having this dumpling if you're wondering i have my wipes on deck my sanitizer on deck um eating in the car is something that i do frequently because of the fact that i'm on the road a lot sometimes um, and I'm comfortable doing it so so yes yeah, so now I'm gonna sample the salt mackerel I don't know how to explain this to to viewers who ha who don't know about salt mackerel so it is um, hmm I don't know what to tell you <laughs> somebody who can explain it explain to them in the comments below what I'm talking about but salt mackerel let me see. All right. So let me take out a piece so you can see. All right. So salt mackerel too is something in Jamaica that a lot of us like. And thanks to my best friend, I started eating this hmm, more often a few years ago. Okay. <coughs> oh, <coughs> a bit spicy, but just right you know when you just start eating the spice kind of hit you right there but it's fine and you have enough gravy that you can dip your dumpling and mm -hmm. can work soft enough so i might be able to eat inside here today if not, I just peel off the, the outside. Let me show you. So if you're like me, you just do this. Take off most of the outside. And just leave the dumpling like this. And you just throw this part away. But either way, we have breakfast. We give God thanks, yeah? Sorry. 
I know that's good. The fact that they give you an extra, like a, they, they give you a clear bag. So they, cause they know, especially if you know, you know, it's not mackerel really gravy. And I really want it touching anything. I can mess up your car or your clothes before you get to work. <clears throat> yes, and if you see cars passing, that's because I pulled over as per the usual eating. <clears throat> For two hundred dollars, we can get breakfast. I didn't take any tea or anything because I don't want. I had tea already. Plus, I have water. But for two hundred dollars, you can get breakfast and something to drink. Um, if you want, if you don't eat so much, you can get the three dumpling, which is the hundred dollar bag, I think. And then if you get the six dumpling, like myself, um, then it's two hundred dollars with some meat. Um, so yeah, that's the beautiful thing about Jamaica, I know always can find somewhere that you can eat on a budget and your belly full so there you have it it done <laughs> but thank you miss cherry shop if that's the right name um for this breakfast this morning it was really good and i enjoyed it and then because of how it came you know you can put put back the dumpling things because as i said before i don't eat the flesh parts i have one and two flesh things in here and then you just tie back the bag and that's it so you don't have to worry about it messing up your space or anything but thank you so much and i'll see you again at my next eating spot